Okay, now this is the video. Uh, this video is about this knife. This is the Shirogorov Dark Clone from uh, Green Thorn, I think is the company. And I had some uh, where the pouch, but uh, yeah, it said Green Thorn on the pouch, uh, which the knife came in. So this knife is uh, 21 centimeters and 3 millimeters long. So it's relatively big knife. It's not super big, it's like a middle knife for me. Uh, if you compare it to, for example, this one, which is uh, Alexei Konegin's asymmetric folder, uh, it's relatively small knife, the Shirogoro Flipper. But, my point is, this knife, when I saw it first, first on the pictures uh, in the internet, I was like, hmm, it's interesting, but nothing, nothing too good. Then, on the, one of the assemblings of the knife crew in Bulgaria, I saw it on live with the G10 handle and the D2 uh, blade and I was impressed by the lightness of the opening, it was super nice and I was like, wow, this knife, I gotta have it. But I bought the, as you see, the carbon fiber and the S35VN version. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the knife. Uh, it can do most of my daily activities which is mostly spreading some mayonnaise on the bread with it <laughs> and cutting some cheese or something. And uh, yeah, uh, when, when you spread some mayonnaise like I do, it came inside here, it's a little bit... Uh, it's not so easy to clean, but it's not a problem. Mm, but uh, also I don't like this thing here, which you cannot put your finger properly because you go to the blade and you can cut yourself. I don't know, I don't know why they do that. In the original is the same. Uh, pff, I'm not sure why they do such a thing. But whatever, it's, uh, uh, it's a pretty cool knife. It's light because it's titanium and uh, like uh, carbon fiber. It's, I think, around 135 grams or something. We can check that out. Of course, with the scale. If the scale is working. Yes, it's working. It's, yeah, 135 grams. 36, but whatever, it's uh, cool. Let's see the asymmetric, which is bigger knife. On the 21, uh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is this is amazing. Knife. It's just fucking amazing. It's so nice, so beautiful, so pretty. It's fucking good. Okay, whatever. Uh, the, the thing is about this knife. Uh, very good flipping action, and it's just exceptionally well made. Uh, also the ball bearings are double roll so uh, they will be more resilient I guess they will not carve into into the metal I think they are ceramic ball bearings also so yeah this is the future of the ball bearings two rows uh, like pretty much exceptional uh, let me see how many Ball bearings are they? Okay, I cannot tell. So, whatever. Uh, that's it about this knife. Uh, there are many reviews uh, of this knife on the internet. I'm not sure how many of them are with the carbon fiber, which is the lightest version, because G10 is a little heavier. Uh, the G10 version is, uh, wait a minute, I'll tell you how much weight. How much more weight? Uh, it says here like it is a. Uh, Okay, 149 grams, so it's around 14 grams heavier, the G10 version. But the G10 version is uh, also exceptionally well made, it's the same uh, made, uh, it's the same opening, it's very smooth, very nice, uh, very cool, it's amazing. Uh, and the knife itself, like the, the aesthetics of the knife, they're not so good, 
<laughs> no, they're good for some people, they're good for some people, they're not. Uh, so it's uh, more like uh, love it or hate it uh, for this knife. But uh, yeah, I have enough uh, enough for this knife. It's uh, so long.